What's up Aquarius? This is your love forecast for the second half of July. This is for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. It really helps out my channel. And if you are new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to keep up with me over there, I've put the links to those profiles in the description box of the video as well. Okay, so let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, second half of July. Any love messages for my Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, second half of July. Okay, I just saw the Ace of Swords, Truth, Conversation, Breakthrough, Clarity. Let's have a look. Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords, the Sword of Truth. The chariot card. So King of Swords, conversations, communication, honest conversations, Emperor card and the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Aquarius, something that you have been putting work or effort in is now moving forward in a very positive direction. You could be dealing with a Cancer with this chariot card or another air sign. There's someone here that's very sort of determined to put work in with you. Um, they're moving towards you with the intention, I feel, of giving you something very solid. If there has been any kind of um, stalling or lack of, of effort, this is sort of like a revival. We've got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to come in. They want to maybe take things to the next level or renew the love. Okay, so this is quite nice. Um, tell me a bit about this King of Swords. The Knight of Wands, exactly. So this could be a situation where things have been a bit on and off, in and out. Knight of Wands can be a bit swoop in, swoop out. The shadow of the King of Swords can be a little bit flaky. This could be a person that doesn't follow through on their promises. But I actually feel like this person now might be sweeping back in, but with different intentions. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Devil. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this person maybe has been a little bit all fun and no um, commitment, okay? You could have been dealing with someone with some toxic tendencies, um, someone where there's a lot of chemistry, but like I said, they're a bit in and out or they have some fears when it comes to commitment. Um, we have Queen of Wands, so this person's very attracted to you. Page of Swords, they definitely um, watch you a lot, okay? Even maybe when they've swooped out, they sort of keep tabs on you, they watch you, they watch your social media. Um, and then we've got the Queen of Cups. So there is an emotional connection between you and this person, but I feel like maybe this person has some, um, like I said, some toxic habits, or maybe this person um, has some fears. So it's like they come in and maybe they replace uh, intimacy with sex, that kind of a thing. So I think you've, you've invested in this person emotionally with that Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, yeah. So there's still this sense of you two holding on to one another with the Four of Pentacles, but I think they have been withholding a little bit. Um, but because they're coming up like an emperor with the Ace of Pentacles, I think they're showing up different. Yeah, there's regrets here, Five of Cups. So maybe you have had some, um, you have had some disappointments with this person and the Five of Cups means there's some spilt cups between the two of you. You know, maybe this person can be, like I said, a little bit avoidant, a little bit of a player, Knight of Wands, Devil card. Um, they have regrets. I also feel like maybe this person has pain in their past, right? Maybe this person was previously committed to someone and it didn't work out. Um, and maybe also there's issues around finances and money. I'm getting that as well. Or, so maybe this person has been hyper-focused on their financial situation and losses there and not so focused on um, commitment. As I said that, there's the two of pentacles. So it's like this person has been juggling a lot, focused on money. Um, maybe they're very focused on the material. So they hold back emotionally. Um, maybe this person has been juggling other options. I did say that with the Knight of Wands, maybe this person can swoop in and out and be non-committal. Um, but I feel like, you know, they're, they're sort of having a bit of regrets about their actions now with that Five of Cups because it's like, oh no, I don't want to miss an opportunity at my Two of Cups, which would be a relationship with a soul connection, but the moon. So the moon is a lot of um, subconscious fears, right? So again, maybe this person has some blocks when it comes to their emotions um, because they're holding on to something um, from the past with the moon card. And so maybe there's been a lack of transparency between the two of you with the moon um, or just fears, 
when it comes to love and commitment. So maybe this person diverts all their attention into like money, work, fun, um, sex, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, guys, um, it's different for each of you. But the full card and the judgment card, I feel like this person's sweeping in, sw sweeping in, sweeping back in. Because one, I think they realize that they might have been a bit foolish with their actions and they want some kind of a second chance with you, judgment card, as the king of cups. So we've got a king and a queen of cups here. So there is an emotional tie between you and this person. They do feel that they are your match on an emotional level, like there's mutual love here. Um, so I think they're coming in with a different kind of an offer because they do see you as someone that they can have this happy future with. Um, they could be focused now on family, on, on children, for example, we do have an Emperor card, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So this could be about focusing on, you know, pregnancy, children, um, building a family, happy home. And they are making an offer to you, Page of Pentacles. Um, I feel this person had things that they had to resolve. Um, I'm not getting that this is like a clean breakup. I feel like this is just a situation that goes in and out, on and off, that kind of a thing. Um, guys, I am not by any means encouraging you to go to someone that is toxic, that's a narcissist, that's abused you. That's not what I'm saying. So if that applies to you, this is not the reading for you. Um, or it is, and you're dealing with a narcissist and, and they're coming in and you just shouldn't take it, okay? Just take it as it resonates for your situation. Not everyone is dealing with um, a narcissistic ex, okay? So tell me about this emperor. Eight of swords and the five of pentacles, okay? So this person, they have a lot of anxiety when it comes to everything that has happened. Eight of swords, they could have been quite trapped for some time. Um, when it comes to commitments, emperor card is someone that, you know, is very solid and committed, but I do feel like there's something that's been quite unstable for this person. Um, they do have anxiety when it comes to actually maybe I'm almost getting control issues with the emperor. It's like if they're in that distorted masculine energy, they don't want to lose control um, maybe by opening up or showing their feelings or their emotions. So this person, you know, they have a lot of anxiety when it comes to commitment, when it comes to sort of um, showing up as that divine masculine energy. So that has led to loss, five of pentacles. Maybe you've kind of taken a step back from this person. Um, and there's a sense of disconnection, but they do want to close that out, the world, for something very stable and committed, four of wands. Okay, that's like marriage, long-term commitments, sharing a home. I do feel like there's some kind of a, maybe purchasing an asset, ace of pentacles, um, a new beginning. Let's just get some more um, clarity on their true intentions now coming in. They wanna make something right with you because I just saw the justice card and the wheel of fortune. So I feel like there's a positive turn happening in this connection, but let's get some specifics. The hanged man, the six of swords and the five of swords, the queen of pentacles and the ace of cups and the fool. There we go. And the star card and the 10 of pentacles. So they wanna come in, they wanna heal and repair things with you. They have the future um, vision. 10 of pentacles, they want to build something long-term with you. The fool taking that leap of faith came out before. So they want to take a leap towards you for a brand new love beginning. We have double ace of cups. There has been a lot of stress and anxiety. Five of swords, you could have had conflict with this person or difficulty seeing eye to eye, but they want to move away from that. Um, you know, hanged man, it's like things have been stuck but now they want to have this renewal with you. They might've had some things that they had to let go of. Hangs man can be surrender. So I told you that I think, feel like this person had some stuff that they had to sort of wake up to like limiting um, patterns, fears, etc. We've got a queen of pentacles. So I feel like they, you know, they were coming up like a king of pentacles here. So I feel like they want to be that stable, loyal, committed person. The king of pentacles is the partner to the queen. So they're seeing you as a queen of pentacles and nine of cups and a hope and a wish. Okay, Aquarius, so that's quite nice. Let's just get one more. Yep, page of cups, and they're coming with, in with the offer. Page of cups. Um, yes, so let's just get you a romance angel and then I will peace out. I keep getting pregnancy for a lot of you, so for some of you that's really on the cards. Let's see, codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. What did I say? I feel like this person had some addictions that they had to work through or they could be codependent patterns like avoidance, um, 
attachment styles, you know, maybe there was some balancing out that needed to take place. Maybe you were investing a lot and this person was very avoidant. It could be because of pain or subconscious um, blocks or wounds, right? Yeah, you deserve love, you are lovable. Well, this person is wanting to show you that you are lovable, even though they have been withholding, they're coming back in. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like this person had to retreat and do some of the inner work on themselves, right? Free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life, yeah? Well, the Eight of Swords, this person has been a little bit stuck, um, in the mind, anxious, very anxious and unable to move forward. Maybe this person had ties that were unhealthy outside of your connection and it's like they had to take back control. The emperor, as I said, it's like they they can be too controlled, but I think that's more in terms of their emotions, um, but the emperor takes control of what they need to take control of. So I think this is about maybe dealing with their addictions or their toxic habits or their fears right? Maybe you had to take back some control of your life because maybe things were out of balance, right? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So they're coming in, there is a mutual attraction here, but there's something maybe that needs to be let go of because you need to enjoy this moment fully is what Spirit's saying. So let go of things that you've been holding on to um, in order to have a new beginning, right? Stay optimistic. <laughs> positive faith thinking and faith will bring you romance so you've probably lost hope on this calling in your soul soulmate so you've been trying to manifest or they've been trying to manifest this new beginning with you um but maybe you're just a bit skeptical about it by now um because it's going to require work but i feel like this person wants to work on the partnership with you give your relationship a chance work on your partnership make the effort Okay, so this person's coming in to show you that they're making an effort. Spirit saying, stay positive. Again, I'm not encouraging you to go into anything that's not right or not healthy. I'm just reading the situation. Um, okay, thanks Aquarius. I hope that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.